Dental implants have gained unprecedented worldwide popularity in the last 10 to 15 years. There's a significant amount of research that goes into dental implants which makes them expensive. Naturally, when something expensive becomes so popular, and especially when it's also expensive, alternatives are considered to make treatment cheaper. The first alternative are the mini implants. These implants are a lot cheaper but are not recognised by most experienced professionals as sufficient for the retention of fixed crowns or bridges. The problem is that if these implants fail, they often leave behind inadequate bone for retreatment with conventional implants. When there is no sufficient bone left for conventional implants, bone grafting helps reconstruct the bone volume and helps achieve the most optimal implant placement once the grafts consolidate. But grafting can add a significant cost to implant treatment. An alternative for highly resorbed upper jaws is what is known as zygomaticus implants. But whilst they're cheaper, they do have certain potential problems that must be taken into account before embarking on this process that is complex to undo. The zygomaticus implants are covered in a separate section.